Hello everyone, uh, I'm recording this video as part of the review videos set 2. Well, I'm doing this video early because I received a uh, request on have giving another example of the Prim's algorithm. So I'm going to just try to uh, show you how to do this pro this problem using the Prim's. So we are going to start from the A. Well, and then for the Prim's algorithm, and we are going to have a key list, and then we're going to have pi list. So for the key list, and it will be uh, it will be just uh, it will be just the uh, the keys. Well, that the cost for each of the node to join a MST, the minimum spanning tree. And then for the pi, that is the parent. So when a node is joining a MST, and then what will be the parent of such a node? Okay, so that is pi. Okay, and then at the very beginning, and everything will be unvisited, and then we are going to have those unvisited nodes. Well, and then, well, since we are starting from the A, so the cost of for A to join the MST is going to be a zero because the uh, because the A is the root. So when we are doing a extract mean, and of course the first round we are going to extract the A because for A joining the MST the cost is a zero, and for the rest of the nodes we don't know where they are right now. So joining uh, for B to I, and then the cost of drawing the MSC will be infinity. So I'm going to get rid of this A first. And then, since we are going to have the A as part of uh, our MST, so A is removed. So I'm going to draw a red circle here. And just re to represent that, A will be removed from the candidate nodes. And then we want to update the adjacent nodes that can go to our existing MST. Well, and then the existing M MST, we only have the A. And then well, we can say, uh, well, A to I, the cost is a 2. A to D, the cost is 5, and A to B, the cost is 1. So I want to update those three three values. So A to B, A to I, and A to D. So the first thing I want to do is for those I, D, and B, the parent is going to be a A. Well, this is just to say if you want to join the MST, and then you can join through A. Okay, so and then for the i, it to be a, and then I'm also going to record the cost. So the cost for b will be a 1, the cost for d is a 5, and the cost for i is a 2. Okay, so this is the first round. Well, we only know a is guaranteed to be part of the MST for now, and then we want to do a extract mean again. So for this extract mean, and then we want to try to find the one of the nodes well that has the lowest cost to join the MST. So we have three candidates. So A is already gone, and then so far we know three nodes. We have we know B, D, and I. So we want to extract the slow uh, the lowest. So it's going to be B. So I'm going to draw a red circle on B, saying now. B is part of the MST2. So B, I want to cross you out. And once we have the B out, and then for the current MST, we have A and B. So using the A and, A and B, which are the nodes that we can explore further? And the answer is H. So I want to say for the H, so the cost for H to join the MST is a 2 and then the parent is a b, right? So, well now a and b are gone because a and b are the part of the MSC already and then if we want to do extract the mean, we have three candidates. We have the d, we have the h and i. Well, and if i require you to sort out the nodes alphabetically and then, well, this h will come before the i, so I'm going to take care of the h next. So once I take this H into my MST, and then I want to cross out this H. And after that, since we know H, and then we can see the no C. So for the no C, the key is going to be a 3. That is the cost for C to join the MST. And uh, for the parent, it's going to be H. Okay, so now H is already gone, and if we want to do extract mean again, we have C, we have D, and we have 
i so we want to take care of the i because i is the lowest value for now so i want to draw a red circle saying i is part of the mst and then i is out and because we have already discovered i and then we can see e so so far we know for the e if you want to join the mst the cost is gonna be a six and then who's your parent your parent is gonna be i right okay so we have uh three candidates c d and e so we are gonna pick the c so I'm going to draw a red circle on C. So once we have the C, and then we can we can go to F. So we can say, okay, for the F, you can join the MST if you take C as your parent. So for the F, the cost of drawing the MST for now is going to be a three, and then mm, the, your parent is going to be C. Okay, so what else? Uh, okay, so and then we want to cross out the node C. So the C is going to be out. So after that, and we know D, we know E, we know F. So the next node I want to take care of is going to be the F. So F, I want to color to the red. And then from F we see G, and then I can say, okay, for the G, the cost for G to join the MST is going to be a 6, and then your parent is going to be F. Okay, so in this case, in this case, and I want to cross out the F2. Okay, so F is gone. Well, and then the three candidates we have is going to be D, F, or D. E and G and then D is the lowest so I want to get visit D so once I go uh, I finish finish D now here is something interesting well for the E well for the E to join the MST and then the cost is gonna be so wait did I miss something so for the D, okay, so for the D, if we want to have the D to join the MST, and then well, we are going to see E again. So E is already here, and then we know from E, if we want to have node E join the MST, and then well, what's the cost? The cost is 6. And now, after D is part of the MST already, now I can give E another offer, and that is how about you join the MST through the D as your parent, and then the cost will be 1. So I want to erase this part and erase this part, and then I want to say if you want to join the MST, now the cost is going to be a 1, and you can join through the node D. Okay, so and I'm updating this part and D is done. So when we cross out the D, okay, now we have two candidates, E and G. So for the E, we want to extract the E, and then for the E, we are not seeing any new nodes, so I'm going to draw a circle on E, and then I'm going to say, okay, E, you are out, and the next one will be G, and G, you are out too, and then there's nothing more we can discover from G, so our MST is done. So the next step is I want to uh, paint all the edges on the pi array into the red color, so B to A. So this is how we bring B to the MST, and then C and H, so that is this one. And then for the D and A, this one, and E and D, E and D, which is here, and F and C here, uh, G and F, okay, and then B and H, okay, it's here. And then I and A, okay, here. So if we just take all the red edges, and ta-da, it is a MST starting from the node A. Okay, so this will be part of my 
review videos for the set 2, but I'm making this video early to help you guys with the homework 6. Okay, I hope it helps. Bye bye.